Hey y'all, this is Laura and I am here today to do a review for you on the My First Lab Mini Duoscope. Now I have been researching microscopes for my boys for a very long time and as you know they are typically quite expensive and I had my eye on the My First Scope or My First Lab Duoscope for a while. It's, a, it's about the $60-$70 price point and was saving up for it. But then I found this beauty which is newer than the regular duoscope. It's called the mini mini duoscope and I spent hours researching. Now when you're start researching something like a microscope, even though this is technically considered a toy microscope, um, I wanted to get the reviews from microscope reviewers because I don't want something that's just a toy that the boys can't really get the benefits of a microscope out of. And all the reviews I read were fantastic. The only difference between this and the duoscope, which I was looking at, is this one's a little bit smaller. Um, and this one has all plastic parts. So even the lenses are plastic, which can typically be a problem. But based on all the reviews that I had read, um, the plastic lenses in this case, sure, you lost a little bit of quality, but not enough to make a difference. This goes up to a 400 times magnification, which is not typical for toy microscopes at all. So. I am super impressed with this, so I am going to show you what comes in the box and then I'm going to give you a quick um, little preview of how well the magnification works. This is amazing and the best part about this microscope, I got it from Amazon for $25 with free shipping. You cannot beat that. So if you've been looking for a way to do some microscope work in your homeschool and haven't been able to afford it, this is definitely, definitely something that you should check into. I mean, even just this stuff that comes in the box is just amazing for that price. So you get your your microscope, which has um, the uh, the upper light and the bottom light. So one's a, called a stereoscope view, and the other is a. Um, I'm still just learning. So you've got your stereo view, and which is for solid objects, like if you were looking at a penny and then your compound microscope light, which goes there. So you've got both lights. You will need three AA batteries to buy separately. Um, but you've got with it this um, lab guide, which explains how to use the microscope, everything that's in it. It's got some ideas for experiments and things that you can try, and just more information about it. And I'm actually looking at it right now to make sure I'm telling you the right thing. It comes with um, eight prepared slides and three blank slides in here. And it's got things like onion and wood and frog blood we already looked at and lots of different slides in, in this case that are already prepared. Let's see if I can open it with one hand and show you. Actually, you know what? It says that it has, yeah, that's the thing. It's actually got eight blank slides, I believe and three prepared slides. I think that was a little bit confused on here because there's only three that are labeled. So this is onion, onion bulb, frog blood, and wood are what's in here. And then you've got your blank slides that you can do other things with. And it also comes with the eight slide cover, covers and labels so that you can, can work on the, the slides that you've prepared. This is a slide slicer, which I haven't quite figured out exactly what that is yet but I'm sure I will, and that will be fun. <laughs> this is a pipette just to transfer your different things. Um, this here is a hatchery because it, they, they sent some brine shrimp, so you get to try to, to hatch these brine shrimp and look at them under the microscope all throughout the process. There are some tweezers here and a little tiny magnifying glass, which has a three-time magnification, which I don't know if you can see you know, pretty decent. Um, a yeast um, specimen, then some three blank specimen vials, graduated cylinder, and of course your microscope. So I love that this is so sturdy. I love that it's plastic because already Samuel's been having fun with it, but he's only four, almost five, and he needs to learn how to handle a microscope properly. But if he were to knock this one over, I wouldn't have to worry about any of the things breaking and I just think that that is fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and load up some uh, frog blood for you and I'll let you see through the viewfinder what kind of magnification you get at the different levels. Okay, this is your 40 time magnification for your frog it blood. It's 100 magnification. You can actually see it better. It's just really hard to 
get my camera right. Let me, here's your 400 magnification. You can even see the nuclei in there. So there you so go. So basically yeah. my review is that you, if you have children, I would say 10 and under, anybody or a child who's just starting to be interested in microscopes or studying like that, like this is totally, totally an awesome investment. And our thinking is that if this is something that Samuel's really into down the line when he's a teenager, when he's older, we might get him a more, a nicer, you know, more professional microscope. But for just about any use that you could have in homeschool, this is just amazing. And the pictures I showed you were from slides. Um, I'll probably put a leaf on here and show you a couple more pictures so you can see the compound microscope and its ability, but I just think that this is amazing and I wanted to share this with you guys because if you've been wanting a microscope for your homeschool, this is definitely one I would recommend that you go with. So um, I'm going to throw in a couple more um, images here and then I will let you go. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Okay, this is a leaf at 40 times magnification. It's a dried leaf. Actually, I was wrong. The last one was 100. This is 40 times magnification. The other one was 100. It's really hard to get a good view using my camera, but that's one thing too. With this, you can also purchase um, a piece that goes on right here, and then you can take digital pictures on your camera, and it also explains to you how to use your phone or um, other digital device to get pictures through there. So that is my review. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.